Hey Libra, how are you doing? This reading is for Libra for the week of July the 1st to the 7th, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind this is a general read. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. What is going on for the fabulous and most beautiful balanced babes? What do you need to know? What do you need to see for your highest good? And I just heard this is a very special time. So there might be a special occasion or something very special around this time, or you're just feeling more loving. Present time, <laughs> the Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. What's coming towards you? The Eight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. What you are focused on, the world, major arcana for the fixed signs, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo energy. In your blocked and challenged position, the Eight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. And your outcome is the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Okay, Libra, let's clarify this and find out what is going on. Yeah, there's something special around this time. So you have the Six of Cups, fond memories, nostalgic thoughts of the past, reminiscing when times were good, when times were fun. There also could be like a visit coming up. So visiting an old friend or there could be somebody who is stuck on you because you have the Eight of Swords is what's coming towards you, like stuck um, or somebody is like hung up on you. But there is something about a karmic cycle being closed out, like a renewal. So birthing something new. Present time, you have the Knight of Cups. And it says romantic, emotional, and dramatic. That's also you following your heart and letting your intuition be your best guide here. There also could be somebody who does want to pursue something here, Libra, romantically. Or you could be just fluttering your heart very in a joyful type of creative energy this is also you following your passion following your joy and there could be some kind of travel plans or a move but there's something about a freeze period or there has been some kind of stall or delay or somebody is either really hung up on you you want to get closure or completion or there's some kind of celebration here like get together with this person, bring something together. Okay. Because in your blocked and challenged position, it's like somebody is like frozen on you or stuck on you or you are stuck in a place where you don't want to be and you have that six of cups. So you could be uh, revisiting old plans that you had in the back of your mind or there is a place that you have fond memories or a person and the star wow beautiful energy major arcana for aquarius somebody who is like a bright shiny star or this is you in pursuit of that happiness and being really optimistic a renewal have faith that the future is bright dreams come true positive changes that bring an end to a challenging times the light at the end of the tunnel in here. It's like there's something, like I said, being birthed or something coming full circle, full cycle. Because you do have two eights as well. So something moving towards Leo season. And that star, it's like shine your big bright light for others, but doing so in a very loving way. And this is you feeling on top of the world, having freedom. There's an energy though that is like frozen on you or doesn't want to detach from you or this is vice versa. So let's see what this Eight of Swords is. The Eight of Swords says self-doubt. It does say conflict and it says free will. So free will and choice or a decision that also can be stuck tied trapped in a situation feeling like your hands are tied that you can't get out of a situation but you can and it's just gaining a new perspective or if you are having a really hard time of walking away or detaching or purging from a situation, it says fulfillment and some kind of quest. So there's a level of empowerment here, Libra, that's coming through on this, you know, blocked and challenged position where you can 
purge. So there could be like a purge phase that you're going through. So I don't know if you're like purging old stuff or like going through clutter, cleansing. There's some kind of cleansing, purification, because the star card can be an energy of um, like vulnerability. So somebody is being quite vulnerable and being in that place of vulnerability, that is the bridge to connection. It doesn't matter what kind of connection. It's kind of a flowing energy. So what is this eight of swords? So take the blindfold off. Fear doesn't exist. Fear is what we make up in our heads that holds us back from something we truly want and dream of. So beautiful energy. Yeah, two of wands. Something that you really want to go forward with or somebody wants to go forward with you, but there's some kind of distance thing happening. So either somebody is at a distance here, a friend, a family member, or somebody you love. There's nostalgia here. Or you could be like relocating, moving, going to see an old friend, an old flame. But see how the two of wands, the world. So look at you, look at here, Libra. What you're going towards. You're going towards something new. See how this is like newness or birthing something new. And the two of wands is always about a choice. Do I sit here in this freeze? And, and, or do I take a new path? Taking the next steps, bold and ambitious choices, partnering with others who share your dreams, expanding your plans, continue to move forward. Forward movement, always a sign of growth. But there's somebody who is like, almost like afraid or this fear. I feel like fear it and do it anyways. Cause it's like being, like it's written in the stars, something for you. Or you could be really seeing somebody as this shiny star or an influence. So the world card, completion, celebration, and you know, feeling the freedom. Let's see what this, uh, free spirited. I'm getting this free spirited light energy. I feel like it's you though. Like something doing something light. And the two of cups. Yeah. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. And the two of cups is about soulmates. Two people become one. Your yin to your yang. But like I said, could be a brother, could be a sister. It's some kind of fond memory or there's something about this time that is a need for you to just be light, be playful. Falling in love or the resurgence of a romantic relationship, forgiveness and the end of challenges, which is the world card, beautiful energy. Exchanging gifts. Don't give up on people you love. So really beautiful energy. So there could be a parting of a ways though. So maybe there is fond memories of where you were, but there's still an energy that's fixated on you or attached to you. And this could be like, you know, a job situation that you had a lot of love for, and then you are relocating and moving, but like it's destiny and fate here that you pursue something, or it's like some kind of dream come true job that you have been fantasizing as a child. Let's see what this Eight of Cups is in your blocked and challenged position. What are you having a hard time detaching yourself from? Or somebody is having a hard time walking away of where they are. And the sun, wow. Major Arcana for Leo. Again, that card of freedom. A time of great joy and success. Brilliant epiphanies that lead to magical opportunities. Plans working out perfectly. Gratitude to the divine. But see, with the sun card, there's some kind of hidden information. Or there's an energy of not knowing where you're going but it's a need for you to trust because this eight of swords, it feels like 
a, a freeze response. Like, I'm not sure if this is gonna work out. Well, we never know if things are gonna work out. Um, if you think that people uh, know what they're actually doing, they don't. Everybody is in the same boat. Nobody is exempt from this. So when you're looking at somebody or viewing somebody and you're like, wow, that person has it all together and they just got it all figured out, they don't. We're all in the same boat. We all don't know where we're going, but we just have to trust that gut instinct sometimes or where we feel led to go. There also can be this emotionally detaching from a person, place and or a situation. And when you do, it brings you in so much clarity, happiness and truth, freedom, joy, expansion. The sun card is the most positive card in the deck and it's in your blocked and challenged position. So either you are in like kind of a fight, flight, freeze mode, or you're really anxious, or there's something about somebody um, worried about this situation. Yeah, like somebody wants to get things moving yesterday. Because the Knight of Swords is like communication coming in out of left field. And this could be some kind of truth bomb. So there could be some kind of information of like a family or a friend coming to see you or uh, a job position opening up for you, which actually frees up your energy from something or makes you extremely happy. You know, the Sun card can also be like returning to good health and healing or uh, moving to a location that is um, not so cold. So a different location. So if you're like in a cold climax, like where you live, this is more of sun. Knight of Swords, the get up and go energy, the sudden change in focus, the sudden change in direction. Intellectual, determined and motivated. Yeah, stay hungry. But that Knight of Swords is also impulse. It's about rush factor or fast. So, you know, just make sure that you're not doing anything impulsively here, that you're not rushing yourself. If there's any kind of paperwork involved, read the fine print, make sure everything checks out because you could miss a step or this person could be like a little bit blunt in the way that they communicate or this could be you here, Libra. And the Six of Swords. No, it's telling you to go forth. Go forth with your plans. And you're really hungry for this or determined. It just keeps saying the end of challenging times. So there's something um, really beautiful around this time for you here, Libra. And in your blocked and challenged position, you don't see it coming. So whatever this detachment is of this eight of swords and this eight of cups when you do this this is freedom that's freedom this will free up your energy the world will free up your energy and the six of swords because it says forgiveness and the end of challenges the end of challenging times things are looking up a welcoming relief finding your way to a peaceful place the end of depression or ill health, travel or relocation. Same thing with the sun. So something about like um, returning to good health and healing. Or there's a healing energy coming towards you or a healing of a partnership, which is really beautiful energy. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. If this has something to do with work and career, something opening up is really beautiful for you. A windfall of abundance, wise counsel, or good fortune, an exciting career opportunity, a lucrative contract, significant purchase like a home or a vehicle. So for some of you, this is relocating and moving. And there's something about being hung up on the past or fond memories, or maybe you're moving away from a friend or a job situation and you're like, oh, but what if I don't have good coworkers where I'm going? But what if you do? What if you meet your yin to your yang or just that two peas in a pod? Because this feels really beautiful. Somebody really has your back here in this air energy. There's a lot of Aquarian energy and Aquarian is about taking innovative risks. Aquarian energy is also about having a good friend. 
So friendship might be really important to you at this time or a friend is like pulling you out of this freeze. Surrender to inner peace. Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis. In quiet meditative moments, focus on the stillness within and joy and within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. And here, that's you going with the flow. It's like trusting in the universe and things are opening up. That almost feels like the fool. Like you see how it's like the trust fall. Like I need, I need to trust this situation. And there's something that you still have to detach from though. Or there's baggage that you need to free your energy up from. So if you had trust issues in the past, this is being freed up. You're just going to take a leap of faith and trust it. And I feel like communication um, is key here. So if somebody hasn't been communicating, be the bigger person and communicate. But you're coming from a place of love, right? Surrender stress. Take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. Surrender to miracles. Be open to miracles occurring in your life. Feel and know that these events are real. Let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen. And dolphins are extremely playful. So there's a need to have this light energy to you or somebody around you is embodying this happy-go-lucky, playful energy, and it's almost like it's contagious. Teardrop, great personal sorrow. So some somewhere where you have really fond memories or a job or just somebody, um, what is the number of the the so again eight more towards leo season or this actually could be a leo that you're moving away from and you're going towards more of somebody who is um either a water sign or an aquarius mountain road you are on the road to success trust it this is asking you to trust or if you're leaving like a job behind yeah it's sad Rose, romance is in the air. And again, just going back to the air, the air signs. Feather, someone you know is undependable and insincere. This is this. You're going to find out something and get closure on it, which is actually going to spring you forward to either Get off your derriere, get off your beautiful derriere and get moving, get um, either relocation or move, or there's just somebody on your path, like a friend that helps you out of this funk. Get out of the funk. Diamond, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. Gift of a new job, gift of a new friendship, because the Knight of Cups and the Star, it's like wishes granted, wish fulfillment, or just, you know, feeling really hopeful. Legs, stepping into a new experience. And it's like a jewel, or it's like a diamond in the rough. Lightning, control your anger or you'll be sorry. So just watch this impulse. So if you feel like you're going to have a reaction... Just check in with yourself and be like, is this some kind of old pattern in me that needs to die? 
And do I need to start trusting new people, energies, whatever, going forth? Just because somebody burned you in the past doesn't mean that somebody coming towards your life is going to hurt you. Camel, persevere and you will overcome problems. So there is like, you know, um, have your big old ugly cry for some of you. I feel like purging that will make you feel a lot better as well. So freedom, freedom, eight of swords. There's a little bit of stuckness, but moving towards Leo season, holy smokes. Look out, Libra is going to shine. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how this resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.